Hi everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today I want to review details of the South Australian virtual power plant and in particular focus on the Tesla energy plan. I also have a real world quote sent in kindly by a viewer and will compare it to my own situation and estimate the payback based on that quote. First of all, the Tesla energy plan, the details of this can be found on the FAQ provided by Tesla um, via Energy Locals, which is a local energy company in South Australia, and I'll put a link to the FAQ up here for you guys and also in the description below. Um, here are the key points. So the basic concept of a virtual power plant is that it's a network of homes with solar and battery to generate, store and export back to the grid when necessary. From a household point of view, energy, any energy you produce from your solar and store in your battery is prioritized first to your home, meaning that you get to use it first. Any excess is exported back to the grid from both solar and battery for an agreed feed-in tariff when required, and a bit more on this a bit later on. So for South Australian residents, a Powerwall 2 will cost $3,499, including GST. That, that includes the South Australian Battery Scheme rebate of $6,000. There's extra for installation costs, of course. The Powerwall 2 normally costs $7,700 after battery rebate of $6,000 and then adding on installation costs as well. So it's a su substantial saving from, uh, from the original price. The condition for the, the cheaper price is that you sign up for the Tesla Energy Plan using the uh, retail partner Energy Locals in South Australia. By the way, you can always sign up for a VPP even if you have an existing Powerwall 2 and solar. And to be eligible for this plan, you must have a Powerwall 2. No other battery qualifies for the um, for the Energy Locals plan, which I'm about to go through right now. Apparently, if you, you don't actually have to be a homeowner as well. So as a tenant, you can actually install Powerwall 2 and Sol, provided you've got consent from the landlord, of course. All right, so let's have a look at the tariffs now. I've got a fact sheet here from Energy Locals, which I'll pull up for you. So it says here that the uh, daily charge is zero, which is a substantial saving already, given that most of us pay a dollar or a bit over a dollar a day. So that immediately you're saving $400 in your power bill just from having a no uh, supply charge. A general usage of uh, 31.13 cents per kilowatt hour, that's kind of in line with energy rates here in New South Wales, and I'm told 31 cents is fairly competitive as well in South Australia. A solar feeding tariff of 10 cents per kilowatt hour, that's about the same as I'm getting in New South Wales, and of course there's variability all around the country. All rates are inclusive of GST, and apparently there's no lock-in contract, uh, which is kind of strange for me because the condition of the reduced pricing I thought was um, you must join this energy plan. Does this mean you could leave after a month? That's certainly something to explore. So let's go through how Tesla is going to manage your energy through the virtual power plant uh, scheme. As I said, your home obviously gets priority. Anything you produce and store will be used for your home first. It says that from time to time, and I presume when grid requirements are high, um, excess solar that you produce may be exported to the grid first before your battery reaches 100%. And given the history of outages in Australia, this tends to happen in summer when requirements are high, uh, aircon's on all the time for, for the cooling down when it's very hot. So you'd expect that there's plenty of sun when that happens and hopefully won't affect your, um, your battery too much. Uh, all exports from solar and battery will be exported at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Now the beauty of Powerwall 2 is that clearly the ability to enter backup and island mode in times of widespread grid outage is fantastic. That's probably the best feature of Powerwall 2. That energy security is second to none in my opinion in the current market. The energy plan FAQ states that they will, they will set the reserve at 20% as backup. They can lower it if you wish. Um, as part of the condition of joining VPP is that your Tesla app enters a special operating mode, which means you can't alter any of the settings yourself in the app. Now, because currently with my Powerwall 2, without VPP, you can alter the reserve, uh, enter off-peak, peak times. So you do lose a sense of control without those functions. But I guess the trade-off is that you're getting like a much reduced cost of installation and hence payback is significantly cheaper. And we'll go through that very shortly. Before I delve into this real world quote, a bit more about the South Australia VPP. So they're expecting 50,000 homes to subscribe eventually, and there's a potential to, to generate 250 megawatts and store 650 megawatt hours, which is more than double the power output of the Hornsdale big battery in South Australia, and more than four times the storage capacity. So let's go through this quote, which has been kindly supplied by South Australian viewer Greg. So thank you very much, Greg, for sending this in. The offer is for a 6.6 kilowatt Jinko solar panels, 20 panels, 300 watts each. Jinko is a quite a fairly reputable Chinese manufacturer, and I think one of the better ones. You'll get a 12-year manufacturer's warranty and 25-year performance warranty. I think LG offers a 25-year manufacturer's warranty. 
an ABB string inverter, which has a 10 year warranty and a five year installation workmanship warranty as well through this company. The Tesla Powerwall 2 is a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity and has a 10 year warranty and is subject to signing up to the VPP plan. Otherwise, it will cost you an additional $7,995 without VPP. Again, back to what I was saying, how long do you need to be signed up for with this plan, given there are no exit fees uh, with the Energy Locals plan? Again, something to explore. So here's the pricing, which I'll go through now. Okay, so the solar system is going to cost $8,455. These are all XGST for the time being. The battery is going to cost $5,450, and then the total cost is $13,905, excluding GST. And then if you include GST, it's 15295 once you add the 10%. And then take away the STC um, rebates, 3003 So the total cost is $11,995 fully installed. And personally, that's a very good price. And I'll tell you why very shortly. Okay, so the company also provided a very few interesting graphs for Greg to, sh to go through, showing him examples of the energy production and consumption uh, of his home. So here's an interesting one showing uh, hour by hour how much his house can expect to use. Not surprisingly, most of it occurs in the evening, followed by the morning period. Here's a graph showing how much energy his solar system can expect to produce. It says it will produce almost 10 megawatt hours per year, which if you use the four times multiplier rule, i.e. multiply the size of your system by four, this is how many kilowatt hours you can expect to produce a day over the course of a whole year. Um, so in this case, 6.6 .6 times 4 times 365 will get you about 10 megawatt uh, hours per year. Not surprisingly, most of the production occurs during the warmer months of the year, and that's reasonable for South Australia given how much sunshine they tend to get. And this chart tells us that with a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system, 265% of energy needs will be covered by solar, meaning that his system will produce more than double what Greg will need for his house. Another way of saying this is that 60% of the solar production will be exported back to the VPP to help the grid as well. So once again, thank you, Greg, for supplying that quote. It's very useful for others to see. And, uh, and if you're thinking of installing a power wall to, to, to know what to expect uh, pricing-wise in South Australia using a Tesla energy plan. The last thing I want to do now is quickly apply my own scenario to this initial installation cost. So recently, you might have seen a video I did where I used my own real-world data, and, um, and I'll leave a link to that video as well for you to look at. I'll pause it here near the end of my video where I gave a few uh, payback timeframe scenarios based on the cost of that installation. So if you can see towards the end of the left side of that video in the green, I've said that if your system costs $15,000, you can expect a payback for about under seven years or so. So now Greg's quote came in at almost $12,000, which is actually really good, thanks to the multitude of subsidies afforded to the South Australian people. So with my household usage, if I apply this to that, I'd be looking at close to five to six years payback. With a caveat that that system that I calculated it on is based on an 8.4 kilowatt system. So uh, as opposed to a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system in that quote. So I think to be safe, maybe add another year to that formula and say seven year payback uh, for this, for my household usage on Greg's quote, which is still really good. So, and that's, that's you know, uh, that's almost 30 to 40% lower than, uh, or less time than I need to wait for my system to be paid back. So based on my calculations, um, it doesn't include electric vehicle charging at this stage, given I'm on a special plan with my power company here in New South Wales. So you'd have to factor that in if you've got an electric vehicle as well. So with that price, I would say that's a fantastic purchase uh, with possibly a few concerns. The major one, of course, being that if the grid's taking away energy from your solar system before your battery reaches 100%, and if your battery hasn't topped up enough for the night, then you might be shortchanged and you've got to use the grid uh, for overnight usage. My other comment is that um, is how long have you got to be tethered to that energy plan uh, offered by energy uh, that energy company in South Australia? Even though it says there's no fixed contract in that fact sheet, that's something that we need to look at as well further on. Well, guys, well, that's my review of the Tesla Energy Plan uh, as part of the South Australian Virtual Power Plant. If you've signed up or if you're close to signing up for this plan, uh, please send me an email or, or leave a con comment. I'd love to hear from you and, you know, I'd love to stay in touch to see what your experience has been like um, and, and what your experience is going to be like going forward as well with this plan. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and don't forget, you'll never charge alone. See you next time. <laughs>